We're off Chef Mentor Highway near the Rigolese Pass to the east of New Orleans. Chef Mentor follows Louisiana Highway 90 and begins in Gentilly and it runs all the way to Mississippi near Waveland. It winds and weaves the marshes outside the city and has houses on stilts similar to the iconic homes on Grand Isle. It is the only road between Lake Bourne and Lake Pontchartrain so it often gets wrecked with flooding, wind, all that kind of stuff when hurricanes pass through. Along this road, you can find women of the night practicing the world's oldest profession, as well as find some good fishing when you get near the marshy water. Several landmarks can be found off Chef Highway also, like Fort Pike and Fort Macomb. Now, this is also the road that legendary movie star Jane Mansfield was tragically killed when her car crashed into a tractor trailer. Contrary to the name and reputation of South Louisiana, it's not named after a famous chef. Proposed etymologies for the phrase have varied, and the origin was obscure as early as the late 1800s. The literal meaning of chef mentor is lying chief in the French language, but the origin comes from the Choctaw tribe. Now, Choctaw were here in this area for hundreds of years prior to French colonization. In the Choctaw language, and please forgive me for this butchering, uh, but Olabe Mingo is the equivalent of lying chief. In 1891, a book with a crazy long title was written by Robert Lowry and William H. McCardle. It was called, get ready, A uh, History of Mississippi from the Discovery of the Great River by Hernando de Soto, including the earliest settlements made by the French under Iberville to the death of Jefferson Davis. Whew. Anyway, in this book, the origins of Chef Mentor is as follows. What the Choctaws were most conspicuous for was their hatred of falsehood and their love of truth. Tradition relates that one of their chiefs became so addicted to the vice of lying that in disgust, they drove him away from their territory. Now, in the parish of Arlene's back of Gentilly, there is a tract of land in the shape of an isthmus, projecting itself into Lake Pontchartrain, not far from the Rigolese, and terminating in what is now called Pointe aux Herbes, or Herb Point. It was there that the exiled Choctaw chief retired with his family and a few adherents near a bayou which discharges itself into the lake. From this circumstance, this tract of land received and still remains the appellation of Chef Mentor or Lying Chief. There are other accounts that describe the term's origins as it pertains to the Choctaws referring to the Mississippi River and a guy named Louis Bilois Chevalier de Kellerick. Bilois was appointed as the governor of the French colony of Louisiana, serving from 1753 to 1763. He would communicate with the Choctaw tribal chiefs to establish trading during a tumultuous time between French and English relations. Bilois is quoted as saying, I'm satisfied with the Choctaw. It seems to me that they are true to their plighted faith, but we must do the same in our transactions with them. They are men who reflect and who have more logic and precision in their reasoning than it was commonly thought. This viewpoint would definitely change later, but that's a story for a different video. The Choctaw would later start trading with the English, which prompted Bidois to approach them and try to stop it. He told the chiefs that as long as they trade with the English, they should expect constant troubles, and that the Choctaw shouldn't forget that the English were the originators of all difficulties between the Choctaw and French. The leader of the Choctaw would then say, and I quote, the original wrongs and faults are on the side of the French. They are the first of the white race whom we have known and who have inspired us with new wants from which we cannot free ourselves and for the satisfaction of which they are often but partially prepared when you cannot provide. The English study our tastes with more care than you do they have a more diversified and a richer stock of merchandise. Hence, we are driven to trade with them when our hearts are with you. It is a matter of necessity, not of choice. Satisfy all our wants, and we shall now and forever renounce the English. With this, Bilois promised the Choctaw that he would provide them with the tradable goods that they requested, and he then put a request to the French government to send over more supplies and provisions. The French government, however, wouldn't respond, and the supplies never came, leaving the Choctaw to refer to Chevalier de Kellerick as Chef Mentor. The origin of Chef Mentor, as it pertains to the Mississippi River, stems from the river's path, 
It was untrustworthy due to the many twists and turns in the Delta region as it wound its way to the Gulf, splitting into bayous and swampland. Now, whichever the origin, Chef Mentor Highway is a beautiful drive once you get to the marshy areas of the road, and we recommend taking this drive to see the historic forts and the shrine of Jane Mansfield on your next Louisiana road trip. We could not bring you this information though without your support on Patreon, and we'd like to thank those who have contributed and encourage anyone watching this video to consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Louisiana Dread. For more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on TikTok and Instagram. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.